Moving on to the next uh, one of my favourite subjects, which is a question we get asked a lot at, um, at boat shows is uh, Amine Blush. Um, and um, uh, Phil, what, what is Amine Blush? Tell us about it a little bit first. Yeah, Amine Blush is one of the you know, byproduct really of, of the um, epoxy curing process that, that appears on the surface of, of, a, of a cured um, resin surface. It, it kind of appears in a in a waxy format. You know, if you've coated a piece of timber, you can you can drag your finger across it. You can feel the greasy like substance on the on the top of a, a cured um, e epoxy coating. Traditional systems, 106 absolutely, and some of the other ones on the market, you'd need to remove the amine blush before you uh, go on uh, again with with either another coat of epoxy or a laminate or something like that. And removing the amine blush requires you know hot soapy water, solvents, or or, or whatever you know the best best thing that the manufacturer recommends to remove it. It's kind of a nasty thing. Um, it affects most epoxies. Um, you'll see it. You, you won't see it with Ampro. One of, one of the key things that we've managed to do here is formulate something that does not blush. So you, you don't have to do that preparation to a, a, an epoxy surface prior to recoating it. Um, you have a longer open time window, so you don't have to play around tack on tack or sanding and cleaning. You, you have about four days. We, we recommend you have a four day open window to coat Ampro on Ampro or apply laminate to a coated surface with Ampro. So amine blush is a is a thing of the past here with Ampro, which is, is quite a revolution for, for us today. Wow, that's that's gonna that's gonna cut some questions out of the post show. Um, the uh, amount of people that I often would ask is if my resin hasn't gone off properly, where in fact it's aiming blush on the surface and they're sanding it, it's chewing up the king. That's that's really really cool. Um, we're not going to go to the lab on this one. It's very difficult for the lab to show us uh, uh, aiming blush in any way, shape, or form. Let's just go back to Chris and see if we've got any questions to reference aiming blush. Amine blush. Uh, yeah, there, there's a couple. The first is. Um, uh, sometimes when when I leave an epoxy to cure overnight, there's a, a milky look on the surface in the morning. Is that aiming? You know, I see this appear on on bits and pieces I do with epoxy around the place, and it's moisture. It's amine and it's moisture. It's it's the amine attracting moisture at the end, and it, it, it's a bit of a tricky thing to try and get rid of in its entirety. Um, so yeah, we don't we don't like that white stuff. So you know, again, we shouldn't see that, or we we won't see that with um, with the Ampro system. Have you got another one for us, sir? What is the difference with Ampro that makes it avoid the amine blush? And uh, are there any downsides or is it at the expense of any other properties? Now, I'm not sure whether to throw that one at everyone at Steve or or, 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 um, or Phil. Steve, are you still uh, Yeah, no, OK, yeah, we're on. Yeah, yeah. Did, you, did you hear that question? Yeah, um, basically the formulation has all been um, done using new chemicals. It's not using the old amines that we were before. And as Phil has said earlier, things have moved on. Um, we've got some very entertaining and intelligent um, chemists on board, and they have basically spent quite a few, it's probably 18 months, two years to work on this. We've got this new curing technology to get a better through cure. And we believe it's this better through cure that we get, uh, which is obviously indicative when you're doing this, it'll cure better at five degrees that seems to seal and cure the system off to keep the moisture at bay effectively. The moisture is still there. There's still environmental moisture in your workshops, but this stuff gives you a better through cure to avoid that long open surface, horrible sort of, um, what would you say, reactive surface, should we say. Okay, cool. Answer your question? Yeah, thanks, Steve. Um, one last question. You said before that Ampro has a four day overcoating window with secondary bonding. Would you still peel ply or would you be okay to just uh, fill it and laminate straight over the top? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, you could laminate as long as you're inside the four day, you could laminate straight on top of it. Um, you know, if you're leaving it for longer than four days, we would recommend peel ply. You know, peel ply is a good substrate anyway. It keeps um, other contaminants away from the epoxy surface. So that, you know, there, there's a bit of a juggle. You've got to consider your working environment um, at the time. Um, but yeah, you could go straight on top of it. Cool. Good. Um,